Hello and welcome back. In this module, I'm going to show you how we can create schedules using Blue Prism. So when we are running our processes, we can actually schedule these processes to run at a specific time of a day or of a month. So when we are scheduling these processes, we can even trigger like if this process completes successfully, we would like to run some other process and if it fails, we would like to run a third process. And we can create a chain like that. The subsequent processes can trigger more processes uh, on their success or failures. And these schedules can be run at different frequencies, like we can run them daily, weekly, hourly, and so on. We can exclude some days, uh, like holidays, weekends. So this is very powerful, creating schedules in Blue Prism. So first, I will create some process that will be used to schedule. So, inside this group, we'll create a process called scheduled PROC1. Click next, finish, open it. And within this, maybe uh, we'll write to a text file. So we'll take an action stage. We'll say write to write to file. And for this, we will use the utility that works with files. So let's import that. File, import, browse utility file management open next finish so let's open this process write to file take a business object which we just imported file management and we'll use this action append to text file so file name would be a text file and maybe we'll append some text that uh, Maybe I want to write the timestamp followed by some text. So in this file, we are writing this text with the timestamp. Click OK. We'll also, maybe to make slightly uh, this process to run a little longer, we can even put some sleep time. So we'll make it sleep for maybe five seconds. Let's connect it and save it. I would also create a copy of this process. So this is my schedule proc2. And I want schedule proc2 to run after schedule proc1 has completed successfully. We'll modify the text that the, it's writing to the file. So this is schedule proc2 running. So I have created one more process. What this will do is it will get some random number and we'll store it here. It will check if that number is even, then it will just finish. And if it is odd, it will throw an error. So the way that I'm getting a random number is, uh, I take the timestamp and get the last digit of that timestamp. And then uh, I'm checking if that last digit is one of these five values, then it's an even number. Uh, and we finish this process. Otherwise, we throw an exception. So what I will do is I will try to schedule this master process. If it runs successfully, then we will run schedule proc1. And if it throws an error, we would run schedule proc2. So to do that, we go to the control room and we'll create the schedule for it. So we'll create a new schedule. So this is my demo schedule. And we can give a description. Uh, before I do anything, I need to create some tasks for the schedule. So I go to uh, new schedule task, uh, new task. 
so this is my uh, master task i can give any name to it and um, and i also need to publish my processes if i want to see them here in this list right now i don't see my process here so let's save my changes i click this apply changes button and then go back to the studio and we publish all these processes so let's publish them now coming back here inside demo schedule master task i can see the processes so first in this master task we'll run this master process so schedule it so here is the schedule process now we can provide some startup parameters but we haven't set to accept any startup parameters so if if it were accepting startup parameters we could have provided it here so this is master task we'll create two more tasks new task this is a success task and in the success task we would run schedule proc one and uh, we'll create one more task called uh, failure task and in failure task we will run schedule proc 2 so within master task we'll say when it completes successfully we would trigger the success task and if it fails on exception we would trigger the failure task similarly in success task like if it completes it's stopping but we can chain it to other tasks as well and those tasks can be running multiple processes so that way we can create a chain of processes to be run one after another depending on successful completion or failure of the previous tasks so i have created this schedule uh, now here uh, the initial task i can choose which is going to be my initial task so master task is my initial task how would i like to run it maybe just once hourly minutely daily yearly monthly weekly i will keep hourly minutely and uh, when it should run like it starts now when it should expire never or maybe on some on some particular date for example it should expire uh, at maybe after one week from now and uh, so every hour or every minute for demo purpose i'll just make it run every one minute and maybe we can even control like between what time we would like this schedule to run so probably i can say this should run between 10 a.m to uh, 10 a.m to 6 p.m and we can even control like which all days we would like it to run so I have a calendar over here so I can choose that calendar so it will run only on the days which are working days uh, and uh, that are not holidays it will run only on those days if you want we can create our own calendar this is the default calendar that's coming from blue prism so to create our own calendar let's save our changes by clicking apply changes button go to the system manager and here under system we have calendar so we can create our own calendar uh, I'll create a new calendar so this calendar you can see which is the default calendar has these five working days there are no public holidays um, and so I'll create a new calendar give a name to my calendar so this is my demo calendar and inside demo calendar we can choose which all days are the working days for me so these are the five working days I can import any public holidays from the available calendars over here but I'll create my own public holidays so for example I'll create one as uh, 26 Jan edit um, and I can create more like that so let's save this going back to control room inside the schedules demo schedule I can choose that calendar which we just created demo calendar and save it apply changes now to see that the timetable if i go here i can see that uh, it's scheduled uh, for these times like 12 15 12 16 12 17 so every one minute it has been scheduled and uh, if i go to timetable 
I can see here that it's scheduled up to 6 o'clock and then tomorrow like on 26 Jan since I specified that as a holiday there are no schedules running on this then again 27th Friday it will run uh, between 10 to 6 then again Saturday Sunday are off so it will not run so so we have clearly like defined uh, some recurring schedule so this is how we create schedules now to run these schedules right now if you see under recent activity uh, I don't see my schedules running and uh, even if they run we will see that they will fail so to actually run them we cannot run these schedules from the client I need to shut this client down so let's close this now we'll run these schedules from the command line first we will run the server we allow this to run and here we will edit this configuration by clicking this button uh, I'll use the connection that I'm using uh, for scheduling so this is the connection self study we can choose other options as well okay save it and then start it so it's waiting now we will also run the client this automate exe is the blue prism client that we will run so let's run this and we'll keep both side by side so that we can see any changes that happen in them so we see here that master process has uh, started running and uh, now it, it has run once uh, so master process ran and then it ran the schedule proc zero uh, schedule proc 2 which means probably an exception occurred that's why it's running schedule proc 2 okay so after one minute it will run again that master proc and we can verify that from the command line so if I go here open up the command line we can see that schedule proc 2 ran let's see after one minute we should see another instance of it running so it has again run and this time we can see it ran schedule proc 1 so let's verify that and we see that after one minute it ran this schedule proc 1 so that's how we can control the processes we can schedule them we can trigger other processes based on the successful or failure of these processes and blue prism gives us a very powerful way of scheduling processes in this manner